Every day, we're exposed to countless pathogens, but don't get sick every time. So, how does the body recognize and fight these pathogens? Let's discuss this step by step. The first physical line of defense is provided by the skin and mucous membranes. In the airways, mucus, ciliary motion, and coughing are important defense mechanisms. In addition, bodily secretions also protect us from pathogens. For example, saliva contains lysozyme, which can destroy the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. If we take a look at the stomach, gastric acid creates a hostile environment for most bacteria. Also, the normal flora residing on the skin and mucous membranes displace and fight pathogens. If the pathogen ends up breaching these barriers, the body depends on further active defense mechanisms of the immune system. First, the cells involved in innate immunity become active. Certain stimuli, such as tissue injury, trigger an inflammatory reaction. As a result, leukocytes, especially granulocytes and macrophages, are attracted to the site of damage. They leave the adjacent blood cells and penetrate into the damaged tissue. The body recognizes certain specific repeating patterns present on many pathogens as foreign. These include, for example, lipopolysaccharides, which are located on the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria. These characteristics are also called pathogen-associated molecular patterns, in short, PAMPs. Because they're commonly shared between different pathogen subtypes, they're considered nonspecific. The macrophages and granulocytes attracted by the inflammation recognize the PAMPs of pathogens through pattern recognition receptors, in short, PRR. The granulocytes then secrete a toxic substance to fight against the invading bacteria. The macrophages engulf the bacteria, or in other words, phagocytose them. In addition, PAMPs activate the complement system. This system consists of many different proteins that initially circulate in the blood and tissue in an inactive state. These proteins are activated by pathogens, leading to a cascade of reactions. This leads to three effects. First, more leukocytes are attracted to the site, which stimulates the inflammation. Second, the complement components mark the pathogens, facilitating phagocytosis, which is required for some pathogens. Third, the complement cascade leads to the formation of the membrane attack complex, in short, MAC, which produces pores that especially kill gram-negative bacteria. As well as the innate immune system, the adaptive immune system is also activated. Its reactions start at a later stage, and the response is initially slower. Through its high degree of specificity, the adaptive immune system can efficiently fight against the invading pathogen, preventing it from spreading.